nice. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Alan Safran, how are you? Alan, good to see you. Thank Lord, you very much for coming. This is my wife, Jan. Jan. Jan, Jan good to see you. When Chef Ramsay arrived, it just blew my mind. Let's sit down and have a, uh, a chat, shall we, yes? I mean, we've got Chef Ramsay in here to improve us. Otherwise, what the hell is he here for? Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, how long have you been open? 16 months. So 16, 16 months ago. Yeah, yeah. So just opened. Yes. Is the business making money? No. We're no. losing 5000 up to 6000 a month, every wow. month. Wow, wow, wow. How can it go so wrong? I, I think it was a combination of a lot of things that I think we did wrong. I think we changed the menu many to, too many times. How many times have we changed the menu? Probably 10. 10 times? Yes. Yeah. That's nearly once a month. What about the chef? I mean, uh, normally we, a menu changes when the chef changes. How many well, chefs have you had? about 10. 10 as well? Yes. Front of house been as bad? Yeah, we've been through about 20 servers. 10 menus, 10 chefs, 20 servers. What's going wrong? Yelp has killed us. Yelp, Yelp has trashed us terribly. They're also deleting five-star reviews. Oh, come on. I can prove it. I can show you right on the Yelp. Is there a plot against you from Yelp to close this business? No question in my mind. Oh, Alan, come on. You've been watching too many fucking Bond movies. So, um, opening restaurants in LA is pretty expensive. Um, where did the money come from? Alan had about 250000 that he inherited from his dad's okay, estate. Okay, nice. So he put all that money into it, and then we started running out of money. And uh, in order to open, my husband went to my son. Mm -hmm. And now my son, Daniel, is in for another, I think, over 250000 as well, because he inherited some money, too. I, I was managing his money, so I actually took part of that money. And as the manager of his funds, you then invested in the business. Yes. Did your son Daniel know? Well, of course, he knew eventually. What do you say eventually? I told him after the fact. What? I kind of forced him into it by oh. taking his money. Seriously? Is Daniel here? He's in the business. He does the nighttime shift. OK. You work in the, in the daytime. Daytime. The day. yes. And you don't work together? Uh, not really that much. Our heads log together. Right. My son has a great deal of resentment towards me, and I don't know why. What about the food? I think it's pretty damn good now, yes. I'd say it's four to five stars. Four to five stars, so you're one star out. OK, but I can't wait to taste it. We've got the background, thank you, I appreciate it. OK, thank you. Chef Ramsay will love my burgers without a shadow of a doubt. I'm Marilyn. Marilyn, nice yeah, to see you. Nice to meet you. First off, what's wrong with the restaurant? There's lack of management nice. and the burgers. They're never cooked right. They're always sent back. Wow. Yeah. I tell people that I'm sorry probably 15 times a night. There's no consistency whatsoever. And that's wearing on me, like, as a person. I go home and I'm like, oh, I feel so guilty for serving bad food. OK, let's start off. I'm in California, so let's go for California burgers. California, please. sure. Thank you. And how would you like it cooked? Medium rare, please. Medium rare? Thank you. OK. No, definitely cowboy burger. Course, OK. Yeah. Got to see the Australian meat pie. Yeah. Obviously, I'll have to go for the award-winning burger. Okay. Yeah. I think we're done. Uh, Thank you, my darling. Good. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Hello. Hi. How Welcome are you? Like an I'm Lexi. Right. Sister number two. Sister number two. Yes. Right. You are glamorous. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Um, what's that smell? Is it just me? I don't you smell, smell it. Go outside. Take a big deep breath of fresh air. And come I don't back know. in. I smell your cologne, which smells good. Mm. That, well. Okay. Wait. Ready? Let's do it. Does it doesn't smell to you there? No, no I just smell just you. Just there. I just smell you. Really? Did somebody die in here last night? No. It's okay. possible. No. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, what well, happened? is that? All right, I, follow I, me, I haven't tasted the food yet. All right. I'd love to meet Dad. All right, I'll go get him. What's that smell? Can you smell something? No. Ah. no. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Same here, sir. Come and say hello. And you are? Lewis. Lewis. The manager. You're the manager? Yes. Yeah, good to see you. Same here. Dad? Yes, ma'am. Chef Ramsay would like to meet you. Me? Meet Why you? me? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he want to meet you? Follow me. I am quite nervous about Chef Ramsay's visit and how my dad's self-esteem will take it because he does have a hard time taking criticism. This is Good my father, Mike. Mike? I'm Mike. Pleasure. But the fact is we need the help, and if somebody's willing to give it to us, we need to take it. I really hope that he can help Dad. 
How long have you been open? 15 years. 15 years. Yeah, when was the last time you changed something in the dining room? Uh, never. Wow. Everything's pretty much as I bought it. Yeah. 15 years ago. And how would you rate your food, 1 to 10? I would rate my food in the upper nines. Wow. Great, I love that. Uh, I can't wait to yeah. taste it. The food is not the problem here. It's Thank either you. the atmosphere, the ambience, or the service. Here's your regular menu, and here's your specials menu, sir. Is someone PP on my menu? <laughs> on this one. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that I don't know. That's not a urine stain, though. No. I don't think so. No. I'm pretty sure it's probably coffee. OK, great. Thank you. If you need anything, I'm at the front. Oh, smell. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Oh, how are you? I'll be your server tonight. Uh, good to see you. Can you smell that? Or is it just me? You smell something, right? Yes. Honestly, it's like we buried like bodies underneath the carpet. Yes, it's most definitely the carpet. It stinks. I, the restaurant is filthy, disgusting. It's full of mold. It's worse over there. <laughs> Seriously? You're in the good part. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, steak and seafood, and we have Italian food. Uh, Ginny, what is it? Fine dining restaurant or Italian? What are we? I don't know. Wow. There is no identity. OK. I'll start with greenery with shrimp sauce. Okay. And let's go for chicken murphy. And then the special menu, the steak nelly. The steak the, nelly? Yeah. How would you like that cooked? Mid rare. Mid rare? Please, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I want to see where that 9 out of 10's hitting. It's only that there. Yeah, I'm moving. Mike, I have Chef Ramsay's order. Here we go. Chef Ramsay will like the food here. Anything that I make him, he's going to like. Guarantee it. Look at this place. Louis. Chef? What happened to that lampshade over there on the wall? I don't know. Fix it, it's bugging me. How are you? Nice to see you. It's driving me crazy, I'm sorry. Oh, oh it comes on when it goes up anyway. <laughs> sorry. Just watch your head there. That's for the chef, make it nice. I made it, so it's right on the money. OK, Chef. Thank you. You're welcome. What? Greeny with shrimp sauce. And greeny with shrimp sauce. Oh, dear. Wow, it was gross. Hi. Morning. Hey, how are you? Hi, welcome to Luigi's. Good Joe. to see you. Joe, good to see you, buddy. Gordon. Hi, nice meeting you. And your position is? I'm a waiter. Excellent. And you've got a bit of a uh, hot chef in there. Yes, definitely. Uh, could you go and get him, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Wow, look at this place. Luigi's d'Italia. Hmm. Oh, hello, Chef Ramsay. A yeah. pleasure to meet you. Gordon, good to see you. Um, hold on a minute. You're not 22. I'm 51. You're 51? I'm reading the latest report on your website, a youthful maestro, 22 years of age in the kitchen. Do you have a son in there? No, it must be a mistake. Yeah, this was written in 1981. 1981? Oh, I have recent reviews, too. What, like 1984? No, 1991. Uh, 1991? Anyway, yeah. if the food was that good back in 1981, how is it today? I think it's better now. Well, that's great news. Yeah. I have a following for 30 years, and what I do, I am the best there is. But there's some things that can be changed. Youthful 22-year-old. I like the website. Uh, who else is running the restaurant? My brother, uh, Antonio. Wow, Tony. that's encouraging. Very encouraging, in terms of a proper family-run restaurant. I have my wife, Tony, wow. and uh, okay, great. My, my children. Let's have a little catch-up with the family, shall we? OK. Yeah, are they all here? Yeah, they're all here. Love yeah, to meet them. Bring them out. Someplace. This is my lovely wife, Grace. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, wife. Good to see you too. Where are you from? Italy. This is your wife? This yes. Is... Wow, you did well. And this is? Hi, Dominica, the daughter. daughter. OK, wonderful. And this is? My I'm Linda. My law my brother's wife. That's my wife? husband, Antonio. Antonio. How are you? No, very good, Don. Uh, pleasure Antonio, to meet you. Tony, what would you like to be called? No, I go by Tony. Tony, OK, great. Uh, let's sit down and let's have a catch up, shall we? I'm glad that Chef Ramsay is here to help us because uh, this is a family restaurant and we shouldn't be a split family restaurant. First of all, I'm here to help. And I can't help unless I know what's with wrong. What's wrong with the restaurant? We had a, a phenomenal leader. And the leader was my father. He was in the front. Him and I were always on the same page. And where's your father now? Where is he? He's in Italy, retired. So no one's actually ever stepped into your father's shoes. 
Well, I have, but I think what has happened is no one has any uh, idea what is needed in this restaurant. We're in a position to lose everything. So who runs it now? I'm the, I'm the guy in charge right now. Well, no, on, on the way we run it is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, I run the place. And then on uh, Thursday nights through Sunday nights, uh, they run the place. Wow, it's crazy. How does a family restaurant not run as a family? They don't get along. Because he doesn't belong in this restaurant. It's a chona. Yeah. When you have laziness, it's an infection. What happens is when Tony is here and Linda is here, they have no understanding that number one is the customer. No sitting around, no looking at the TV. Watching TV when customers come, is that true? I don't, I don't think it's true. Tony, he don't care about the customer. He was sitting and played the computer. I care about this restaurant. No, I, I don't honestly, think so. He had to the computer here. Talk with the computer, come on. Complaints are that people feel neglected. Yeah, but there's also complaints like, I don't want to come there when she's there. Customers don't want to come when you're working. What's all that about? I don't know. It's I mean, a... I'm just asking. Listen, I'm... I... She's got people that she kisses ass to and they love her. She's got other people that she gets bl blunt in her face and hate her. Is it right to just basically go up to a customer and just say, fuck you, get the fuck out of here? No! I don't say that! I don't say fuck you! Don't tell me this ball of shit, OK? Say that That's what you said. No, I just said about you. Hello. Well, hello. How are you? I'm excellent. And first How name is? Yeah. Lynn. Lynn, Gordon, nice to see you. Um, owner? Yes. Brilliant. Uh -huh. And My you run the business? Mikey and I. You run it with your husband? Uh huh. Yeah, Gordon. How are you doing? And there he is. This is Eris, our son. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Bowen, well, good to see Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm not so. Why don't you get your father and sure. let's sit down and have a catch up? I'm really happy to see Chef Ramsey. Good and nice. I hope he's pretty nice to my boys. Not too nice. <laughs> OK, um, A, I'm very happy to be here. B, I'm dying to find out what's wrong with the place. How could a restaurant not work when it's sat on the water? Right, OK, Mum. Uh, 17 years, it was very successful, and we did very, very well. So when did it start to turn? The last couple of years, no profit. No profit, yeah. Wow, OK, um, and how often are you here? <laughs> well, I work 14 hours a day, seven days a week, but... Seven days a week? Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. Serious? That's crazy. It is crazy. He's been doing it too long. He's burnt out. And he might not admit it, but he is. Are you burnt out? No. 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 You're going to sit in that kitchen till you drop? I mean, uh, where's the succession? Is the goal to groom Aris to take over, or? Yeah. No. No. Well, I'm here, and I'm doing all the, a lot of stuff right now. I mean, Sure. Do you work um, in the kitchen? I don't, but that's one of my goals. I want to learn the kitchen. It's one of my, I'm glad you're here, because I want to learn more stuff. And... Mm -hmm. Do you teach him how to cook? No. Really? Why? Is he not good enough? Are you that much of a control freak? No. 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 Is he not no, committed? I, well, I was thinking... I feel like I'm pulling teeth back, here. Back in my mind, I expect him to be more here than he was. So he's not committed? He's just getting the passion. He never really wanted, when he graduated uh, college... I never thought I would do he it. He didn't want to be part of our business. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm here just trying to save this place, and it's just... Are you committed now? Are I you... am committed here. I am. You are? Yes, I am. I understand, like, yeah, I haven't been here at times, but I need Chef Ramsey to prove to my dad that I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this place run better and smoothly, and it's time for big changes. This is the time. So how would you rate your food out of 10? What would you give it? My food, I'd give it 10. 10? Yes. <laughs> right. Let me eat. Let me uh, get the grips. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise, and I'm... Um, OK. All the recipes that I have for the Greek food came from Greece. A lot of people, when they visit Greece, they come here and they tell me the food is better here than Greece. I think Sir Francis is going to like my food. Yes. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? How are you? My name is Dimitri. Dimitri, good to see you. Where are you, Where you from? Nice you. I'm from uh, Greece, Sparta. Nice. How long have you been here? And this restaurant, almost 15. Wow, 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 wow. So time. you know everything. Everything. First, the calamari. The calamari is going to be heaven, or it's going to be hell. Exactly. Shit. OK. <laughs> Let's try the calamari. OK. And, and do you know what? I'll have the uh, hot the sample. sample. The platter. The platter? OK. Yeah. And I'll take the cold platter as well. I'd like to see that. I want to see as much as possible. OK. Anything else? I'll have the moussaka with egg the beef. castle with okay. the beef. Yeah. With the beef. Brilliant. 
I think we're done. Thank you. I'm very excited. San Francisco, the guy is smart. And Mikey, he needs to see when the food is not good, everything's not good. Calamari appetizer, make it. Heat the olive oil and put onions and bell peppers with the wine. You guys do what I say. Mikey's a very proud person. He does not take criticism well. But Jeff Ramsey's here to help. He's not here to compliment. Mmm. Nice tables. Why would you cover them? Dreadful tablecloths. Bloody hell. The deco is hideous. Pleasure, Gordon. Dustin. Dustin, good to see you, buddy. And you are? Uh, the waiter. OK, great. Are the others about? Yeah. Yeah, can we put Jake room? and Athena. Love oh, to yeah. meet them. Thank Jake. you. Jake, Athena. Hey. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Very well, thank you. How are you? Jake, I'm doing good, sir. Thank you. Jake? Yeah, yes, sir. OK, great. Hey, can I give you a hug? A hug? Boy. I was waiting for that at the moment. OK, let's have a little hug. Oh, always, always nice. Welcome what, to lovely, my warm, Welcoming, restaurant. thank you. Well, nice to see you. And your name is? Athena. Athena. This is your? My mother. And you guys are partners, right? Yeah, yes. Good. Um, let's spend a couple of minutes catching up and give you a little insight to what's been happening. You got it. Shall we? Yeah. Things have gone bad with me and my mother since the restaurant has opened. My first priority is getting the restaurant fixed. And if that gets fixed, I think our relationship will get fixed. I am um, so mother and son. Yes, sir. Uh, who does what? You are obviously the chef. And... Yes, sir. yes, sir. And I'm just the mother and the cook back there with my sister. Oh, you cook as well? Yes. I try my best. I try to do it like my mother and my grandmother. So authentic. Okay. It's Great. authentic uh, ancestral recipes. How old were you first started cooking? I've been cooking all my life, but I, right. I, I went to culinary school about uh, eight years ago. My mom always wanted to open up a restaurant and get her sister down here from Greece. I said, you know what, let me go to culinary school and see what we could do. So that's, that's what I did. Are, are we? Damn. Are they awesome? I'm very good. Uh... Are you Can great you at catching that? flies? Yeah. Oh, yes. I am. Where are you going? I'm going to kill no, one. No, no, come over here. I'm going to kill one. One second. No, 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 maybe, no, maybe, no. maybe not in front of the customers. No, no, mom. No. There we go, there you okay. go. Uh, there you go. Well caught, by the way. That's, uh, that's lightning. Yeah, that was lightning. Of course, huh? I'm good about great the Great reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go back to the beginning when you first opened. What was that like? Was it beautiful. The first eight months were great. We were busy all day long. There wouldn't be... Uh, a lull in service at all. Wow. But we was busy. We didn't even feel we was tired. What time do you start in the morning? We have to come here at 6 o'clock. We'd be here at Naturally. 6. Naturally. Yeah. But on average, Not seven... my son. Don't say we be here yeah, because you are not yeah, here. I haven't well, been here in a while. Yeah. But you're the chef. Surely you're here at the same time. No, no, sir. So what time do you come in the morning? Probably 11, 11 o'clock. Right before lunch. 30. 12, yeah. Hold on a minute. Your mum comes in at 6. And you come in at 11.30, five and a half hours later. Yes. So if your mum and your auntie does all the prep, what do you actually do? <sighs> yeah, I cook uh, food for customers, yeah. You cook for customers. Yeah, no, that's about it. Are you tired? He's always tired. He's always, always tired. tired. He's still yawning. What do you think the biggest problem with the restaurant is right now, today? I don't know what the reason is. It's Jake. It's Jake. Exactly. I see my son, how he used to be and how he's oh, now. Stop. Don't what? tell me you are not, because stop. you are. No, I'm not. My son changed. He doesn't care. Not about his life, not about the restaurant, not about anything. How much? What's the investment for the initial restaurant? How much did it cost? Uh, I came here with $300,000 plus another five. Eight, $800,000 for this? Almost, yeah. $800,000. Everything's gone. Not only I'm losing all my money, I lost my son too. It's very dramatic. He doesn't want to hear my voice. No, no, Why? You're his nags. mother. She's nagging all the time. He says constantly, he says, I'm yelling at him. Even if I talk to him nicely, I can't take it anymore. The hell with the money, the hell with the restaurant. But losing my son, too, on top of everything. Shut up about that, please. Christ, man.